Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. So I'm, I'm going to get a little closer because i got some uh, laundry going on right now. hope everybody's doing great. Time for another smoothie with a story. So I just uh, got through with the gym again. Going to fire me up a smoothie. Today's smoothie is, uh, well, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Trying to get the fruit out of the fridge and using it up so none, none of it goes to waste. And um, some of the, the problem with, uh, I, I think they pick their fruit a little closer to ripeness. I know like in the States, a lot of times they'll pick vegetables and fruit with the idea is, is longevity and shelf life. That's why like tomatoes you get in the store most times in the grocery store like don't have any taste. Vine ripened are always the best. So, I'm, I'm, uh, so the fruit doesn't necessarily keep as long, which I don't have a problem with that. So I just need to hurry up and use it up. So today's is an apple red currant uh, with some peanut butter smoothie. That's my protein for today. So um, I just cut one apple up and it goes. Today's stories, I'm going to talk some fond memories that I have of uh, camping. And uh, I was uh, kind of making a little bit of a list of, uh, I got currants going everywhere. Um, and I got a ton of them because <laughs> we do love to camp. Got some funny stories from the years together and, and good memories that I have and I uh, want to share those with you. Uh, I've got, uh, you can see the crock pot there in the corner. Um, I've got a, uh, some ropa, ro, ro, ropa vieja going, uh, which we'll have posted by now and the, the link is right here if you want to go take a quick look. But uh, the smell is intoxicating right now. It's, uh, oh, it's blowing me away. Get these up off the floor. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging the ginger. I've been putting about a, like an eighth of a teaspoon or so in here. Um, I don't taste it at all. Um, I'm gonna rinse this off before I use the same spoon in the uh, peanut butter. Um, but I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's uh, just me. But uh, I do the, I do feel a little bit. I said it takes inflammation down. I do. I don't know. Feel a little better. Hmm. Joints haven't been hurting as much. Maybe, uh, maybe it had something to do with it. So just a big heaping teaspoon of peanut butter, and it goes. I do love me some peanut butter. Mm, I will lick the spoon of the peanut butter. I had some with an apple the other day. Mm -mm, tasty. All right, then I got my good old Laban, which is keeper. Folks keep asking about it. Like I said, they sell this stuff by the jug in the grocery store, and it is good. good. I'm digging it. So about two to three cups. Have to. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. House band. I've been having some union problems with them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need them to play loud today. So you guys got it. Okay, all right, here we go. So, uh, all right, hit it, Maestro. All right, looking good. Put this back in the fridge. Pour myself a big glass of. Now it's got the red from the current all in it. So, let's see. I got the tartness from the currants. Real mild apple flavor. Let's see here. Ooh, it looks good. It looks like strawberry, doesn't it? Check it out. It looks tasty. Oop. I'm not saying get away. delicious. Mmm, I'm kind of liking the currants. It's good. You get a little bit of seeds in there. But that's all right. Mmm, tasty. All right, grab a glass. Let's go have a chat. So, so, doing well. We had another 100 degree day yesterday, so summer is definitely on its way. Oh, and 
and uh, excited. I got a Zoom call planned with uh, Arlene and the kids um, tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm excited about that. It'll be the first time we've all been together on a Zoom call in a while. So I do miss them dearly. But, uh, um, I wanted to talk with you today uh, just some camping stories that uh, that uh, that I remember. And I grew up, uh, Mom, my, my dad and my mom, when they were together, um, liked to camp. My dad always kind of fancied himself a mountain man. That movie, uh, Jeremiah Johnson, with Robert Redford from the 70s. I think he always kind of envisioned himself that way, and uh, yeah, he he uh, he he like he grew to like his uh, city comforts though. <laughs> so he wasn't much wasn't much of a mountain man, uh, you know. But I I, I kind of grew up. We'd go camping, and we always always thought it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it. And uh, and when Mom and Bucky got together, um, we did camp. Um, we went camping one time. I remember, and the thing that I remember most about that, um, this was early on when they, I think their first year they were married, and uh, the thing that I remember most about that was uh, mom made this pineapple upside down cake, at, and camping, you know, it's crazy, and uh, so she made that, I remember we just went crazy over it, how cool that was, and she, I remember her being all excited about it, she wanted to try it, and she did it. And uh, turned out real well, um, and I remember that. Um, but um, we got married. It wasn't until um, now Arlene and I got married, and we had Nathan and Will, and then Benjamin was was born. That was all the way up at that time. I, we hadn't done any camping at all, so you know Nathan and Will were were. Um, like uh, four and six, and um, maybe now it was like uh, seven and, and five, and uh, uh, they were old enough to go spend the night out in the woods with their dad, and so got a tent and went, and we went camping in Oklahoma. Now it was, um, it was uh, late spring, as I recall, um, and it was hot, so it, it was almost like you couldn't really enjoy the fire at all. But uh, they got a big kick out of that. But uh, um, but it wasn't until we moved up to Seattle, and that was in 2008. Uh, we moved up there, and uh, of course the Pacific Northwest Northwest is, is by far our favorite place to, to, to camp. I mean, it's just it's just awesome. And in the, in the summertime, the temperatures are real mild and cool in the evening so you can have fires and of course the woods are all open and park like and everything else it was just some of the parks we went to uh, we really enjoyed it uh, deception pass and uh, uh, that was the that was the big one and then there was a camp campground on the hood canal uh, but we loved it we loved it and and the first time we went we went with some Canadian friends of ours uh, who, who were he was we had met them in Germany um, and they and he was stationed in uh, Victoria, going to school there, and uh, so they would just they would come down across the border and uh, and we would uh, we go camping, and um, so we had uh, we'd meet up somewhere and go camping. We went with them a couple times um, there, and then we went to Banff once. Uh, but Arlene got to where she loved camping, and and I think mostly she loved camping because I did a lot of the cooking. And uh, it's kind of funny because they, we had a, a suburban at the time, and uh, of course suburbans, man, it, you get real lazy with with uh, with load planning, uh, with a suburban and, and packing because you just throw everything in there and, and it's gonna fit. I mean, you put anything in it and it'll fit. So, um, but I would load up the whole back end with uh, with all the cooking stuff. And it was like a chuck wagon. That's why I started calling it a chuck wagon. I just backed that thing up close to the to the campsite, open up the back tailgate, and there's all my cooking stuff right there. It was like Kent Rollins, you know, the chuck wagon. Um, but we, uh, I loved it. I love cooking. I'd, I'd get up in the morning and get a fire going. I'd, I love getting up before anybody else, and I'd get the fire going, and I had my little percolator coffee pot, and I'd 
fill it full of water and put my coffee in there and get the coffee going and and uh and then once the fire kind of got going hot then i'd cook breakfast and everybody start kind of getting up and I'd, I'd make some biscuits in a dutch oven and and uh eggs and bacon and all that uh it was great i loved it and i was like the only one up and then you know eventually people start waking up and coming out and then you know an hour later i'm you know putting breakfast out for them and it was those campfire eggs too which was you know you get that that skillet and it's hot and then you just you fry the bacon up and then you pour a lot of the grease off but not all of it and you just cook the eggs and the grease and it's just oh it's good <laughs> it's good but uh but then you know i'd finish and usually we'd have you know the kids on kp duty and they'd have to clean up the pots and everything else and i'd kind of relax and eat and and then and then it was you know i'm already starting to think about lunch so for me it was it was just meal to meal to meal for me and i loved it i loved it again i because i love you know putting that into it and i would plan out the meals and have everything all bought and everything else but uh um we would do um you know steaks you would do those we call them hobo meals with the uh with the aluminum foil we put little meatballs and make them ahead of time and you get uh some uh um mushroom uh soup cream of mushroom soup and you put big big dollop of that in there with some carrots and potatoes and celery and uh and then just just wrap it up and then you put it in the fire and the coals and let it sit in there for 10 15 minutes and take it out and eat it with rice and uh oh, it was so good so we those were some of our favorites i did i did make a pineapple upside down cake in the dutch oven that was great it, was, it turned out wonderful uh made all kind of stuff well, we would go camping with our, our friends the canadian friends and we would have little uh cook-offs and uh you know canadians versus americans <laughs> so it was i would cook and then um our friends the, uh, the wife cindy would would cook for them and uh and then we'd we'd have a family voting um you know anonymous because you know you didn't want to not vote for your own family right you don't want that to be found out but uh yeah i remember we would do that um and we won uh well C cindy won because <clears throat> nate misunderstood the voting so he he voted incorrectly well i meant to vote for you but i, I didn't understand what he was thinking was this vote yes or no i mean simple back or forth and uh <laughs> it's like you cost me the victory boy you let america down <laughs> just don't laugh about that oh but we would have uh i remember we went to banff camping with them uh, beautiful beautiful place all you all you canadian folks up there you got it you got a treasure with banff national park there but uh we went into town and and made a grocery store run and uh arlene loved the 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 kids and the kids all loved too the 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 flavors of lay's potato chips that you can get up there was some of the ketchup flavored and arlene loved the uh the dill pickle chips at the time that i guess you couldn't get those in the states but uh, but ketchup flavored and all this is just funny all the different flavors but we got some picked up some hot dogs we're like well we'll just have a weenie roast and whatever so cook cooking the hot dogs and we're eating them and i'm like man these are real uh got a real snappy skin to them I'm like yeah you know and i got probably three quarters of the way through my hot dog and i'm, I'm finally i'm like <clears throat> and, I, and it was the some it was a plastic wrap around them i think it was a cellulose i'm sure it was i think it was digestible i think it was i hope so <laughs> it was, i'm like there's plastic wrap on these things i mean who thought of that individually wrapping hot dogs i mean who who thought of that you know uh and i was the the our friends the canadian friends just got oh they had a big laugh about that they thought that was pretty funny and yeah, i thought it was pretty funny too but what, what who who would think to individually wrap hot dogs like that i don't know never heard of it but uh um i remember uh we um we went uh, now we'll say this we we did go i uh, back up a little bit because when uh, again i was in altus oklahoma and 
my dad had come to visit and we're like hey we're gonna go camping this was this was like uh, September so it was just it was starting to cool down a little bit and, and make it nice outside and we went camping in um, this there's a state park near near Altus between Altus and Lawton Oklahoma and uh, it's um, uh, I can't remember the name of it but it, it, it's it, it recreates the grasslands like they used to be in in that part of the country and they have buffalo there so the the park it's a big open park so the buffalo can wander anywhere they want but they they keep it fenced in and then you know where you drive in they have the big open spaces so they the buffalo stay in the park but um it uh but there's buffalo there and you can drive through there and uh, it's a real nice park and sometimes <clears throat> we've gone through we used to cut through the wildlife refuge uh i guess that's what they called it but you we would come back from Oklahoma City and you could cut through the wildlife refuge and it would shave, you know, 20 minutes off your trip back to Altus. And, uh, but, you know, sometimes you'd come through there and there'd be uh, the herd of buffalo, a herd of 20 of them coming across the street. And then sometimes they'd get, mingle in the, the cars and everything. It's really cool. Anyway, they have a campground there. And uh, so we went there and of course, the, I mean, the buffalo could walk through the camp if, if, they, if they wanted to. Um, you know, it was buffalo patties around, so you knew they had gone through there when there were no people. But, but we camped with Dad, and um, we had steaks that night. And I, I know Dad was kind of watching me. You know, I, I think he had his doubts, and uh, got the steaks. I'd just wrap up a, a potato and, and throw it in the coals and let it sit in there for for half an hour. And it was a baked potato. It was good, and and uh, so it's steaks grilled on the open fire baked potatoes I think we had some salad too or something but uh, dad was just like I think he had his doubts but uh, I remember I just remember him that was real satisfying because dad's like son this is like really good I was like yeah dad thanks <laughs> so, but that night it was me and my dad and uh, Nathan and William and Benjamin um and uh, we were sleeping in the tent, and then we we had a little uh, Arlene and, and Bella. She Bella was just a little tiny thing. She was in a there was a, we got a little casita trailer for her in bed. Arlene she don't like the tents so much. I'm kind of getting to where I'm I'm like yeah, I do like a nice soft bed anyway. Um, but we were in there, and this big storm came through that night, so it was shaking, you know, winds and all this. And to top it all off is is uh, the buffalo were nearby. Well, uh, the coyotes were were getting after them. So this this god awful noise. Is, it's, this, it's this thunderstorm is going on at the same time, and and uh, it was just like it was like the depths of hell opened up or something like that. And 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 I could hear my dad. And my dad's like, he goes, Stephen, yes sir. And he goes. What is that? <laughs> I said, Dad, I think it's just it's just some buffaloes, Dad. I, I, he's like, <laughs> it's just buffaloes. I some coyotes after him or something, Dad. It said it'll be all right. They're not gonna mess with us. And uh, <laughs> he just. But the next morning, um, it it rained, so we kind of had breakfast, and it was like not when it's not much fun when it's raining and you're camping. Um, but uh, we ended up packing up early, going back. But I just, I just good memories of that. But uh, um, yeah, we loved loved the camping in the Pacific Northwest, and also lots of camping stories, funny camping stories. Um, and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I'm about done with my. Well, I'm not done. I haven't been drinking my smoothie at all. I've been talking the whole time with you. But love camping. Lo lots of memories. I want to share those with our kids and grandkids. And uh, keep doing it so anyway hope you enjoyed it uh got some uh more on the way and and uh we'll talk to you later uh see you next time